Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here once again. And today's subject is a German house. So this is the bottom of it. That will be the overhanging top part of it. Like that. I'll just uh, remind you that uh, in the past I made a Dutch house. Like so. And also a North African house, like so. And also a French house or French street. I think that was uh, my first video. Uh, so I've made videos from various parts of Europe and North Africa. So this is a German house. Um, if you're making dioramas with military vehicles, World War II military vehicles, then obviously at some point you may need a, a German house. So I made it in two stages. Just cut out the plan of the of the whole house, really. Uh, doesn't need to be as uh, complicated as this. Could just be a rectangle. Uh, and then put all, this is all three millimeter card, by the way. Uh, and then just put the upright walls. Same with the top. And that will sit on the top. So what makes it German is all the uh, wood um, bits in between. You, you know the kind of thing I mean? There'll be pieces of wood there and, <laughs> and wood there. And at an angle there, uh, yeah. So that will uh, that that will give the impression then of it being German, um, <laughs> not uniquely German, I know, but uh, it will make it uh, German enough. So I'll stick I'll stick bits of card all over the place uh, to make it look uh, uh, only on the top part. The top part will be a different colour. To, to the bottom and then 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 in the windows uh, I should put louvre doors either side of the windows like that one there one there and then on the bottom part as well there's uh, louvre, louvre windows and I made those with the two millimeter card just cut out the um, frame cut a hole out for the just left with a frame uh, then put a, a very thin paper on the back and then laid um, cut up pieces of uh, cocktail stick inside and I think that gives a fairly good representation of uh, Louvre windows <laughs> although mind numbingly boring to actually make cutting up all those cocktail sticks but anyway I'll go ahead and put all my uh, bits of card all over the place and we'll come back and see what it looks like then okay so I've stuck my bits and pieces of uh, uh, card I'm just thinking it just needs a couple more there I will do that um, then I roughed the surface up and also took a chamfer off most of the edges as well to give it the impression of ancient timbers. Um, a few bits and pieces need to come away. Uh, so there we are. I think that's uh, looking all right. <laughs> That'll save myself. Uh, so I'll paint in between with uh, one coloured grout, uh, a light cream colour, I think, uh, and the bottom uh, a brick colour and then uh, paint the timbers black and I think that will uh, do the job okay so I'll go away do that come back and we'll see you then so I've given it a paint job I had intend painting the timbers uh, black which I did do uh, but it looked absolutely terrible so I had to peel <laughs> peel away the top layer of cardboard to get rid of the black and, uh, and paint them a more woody, woody colour. 
so it's not been my finest hour, I must admit. Uh, but anyway, we'll continue. I'll put the doors and windows in. And uh, we'll see if it looks a little bit better then. So uh, I'll do that and come back. Okay, so there we are, all finished. It does look a bit better with the uh, doors and windows in. Uh, but um, that's my version of a, uh, a German style house. <laughs> my apologies to any Germans watching. Um, but there we go. It was on my list to do and now I've done it. So there we are. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe or click that like button and uh, I'll be back in the next video. In the meantime, happy modeling.